Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. 52 Super Luigi here, and I got Sam right here. Uh. <laughs> so I had to cover the small person. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Alright. So, get him in the camera a little bit more. Uh, that? That's perfect. I should have to cut this. <laughs> so, for starters, this is another food taste test, but we figured. It's also. In, in, yeah. I got Bayonetta 2 slash 1 for the Switch today. And then he got Dragon Quest Builders, which is a better Minecraft, but it needs it's co -op. It's basically Minecraft with a real story because it's basically. Guys, whoever played Dragon Quest, you know how you have a story? Bayonetta 2 for the Switch? Oh, hey, Sony. Hey, Sony, you lost this to Nintendo. Oh, and hey, you also lost. This right here, Bayonetta 1, because you thought it was going to be a failure, and they're making it free for the I Switch. actually realized why they thought it was a failure. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who made Bayonetta. What? <gasps> Sega. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. But hey, Sega's Nintendo now, so they, that's what, that explains why they made 2, and now they're going to make a 3. <laughs> for that. only the Switch. That is mine. And then Sony. So you be you can expect more Let's Plays of one. So for you guys that got mad at me for getting rid of the Wii U because you liked me doing Smash and this, hey, let this be a hint of we're going to probably get Smash too. And hey, also, I could start end. doing these again. And you have two now. And then you get three. So you have three more Let's Plays. And then one, when this was just on PlayStation, so PlayStation 3, Vita, and PlayStation 4, they didn't have a co-op. But since Switch got this, and it's literally Minecraft with Dragon Quest story, it's literally a real story except with building. And it doesn't have hero brand. We don't talk about that. <laughs> number two, because this did popular on the Switch, they made they started to make a number two, and that has co-op. But that's because that was designed for, for Switch fans. Because also we did talk about this Dynasty Warriors, which started Fire Emblem Warriors, and uh, what's the Link one called? Uh, Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U had co-op. That's coming Nintendo. to the Switch too, you know that, right? And it's and gonna it have everything. And, and it has 3DS and Wii U put together. And then it has um. The Which means Skull Kid. And Breath of the Wild costumes for Link. Yeah. And oh, Zelda. and you get to play as Linkel too. <laughs> and uh, Zelda's booty. Because <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Because um, those two games had co-op because they were Nintendo. Then they made um, Fates, which had no co-op. Mm hmm so, Like, Destiny, um, Dynasty Warriors doesn't have co-op. That's why I've noticed, because we've seen games that are coming to the Switch, that either when they come to the Switch, they get a new game, because it came to the Switch and now it's getting co-op, or games that have that worked worse Sony than worked with Nintendo, same type of game, but different story and style, Yeah. co-op. So that's the biggest difference right now between Sony and um, Nintendo. N Nintendo focuses on multiplayer. They focus on single player, which yeah. Fates for the Switch was very disappointing. I love the series. I'm a big weeb for it, but uh, it could have used co-op because after a while of playing by yourself in a slasher, it gets yeah. boring. That's why Fire Emblem Warriors and Hyrule Warriors is popular and a lot of people play it and it's changed the way people think of slashers because you have that extra person to play with and it's yep. more funner than playing by yourself. That's it's always I mean. funner to have someone jerk you than jerk yourself. Oh, shit. Um, Cause we're going to edit that out. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not. But <laughs> when number, number two for this comes out, he's going to understand why I like this game. Because it has co-op. Co yep. And they actually me mentioned you could swim, it has co-op. Basically, everything this game does not have or Minecraft might not have Number two will have. They already said it, so. All right, now to the and if you're still here after that. The review. If you're if you're still here after the review of the games, we now have the food taste test. That what this video is mainly for. Uh, and this is Japanese food. I was about to say underwear. This is Japanese food. It's Japanese ice cream, which is based off of something. Which called is a gel. The outside is. Some type of jelly, which you told me a lot of Japanese stuff is jelly based, and then inside's ice cream. So we already tried a chocolate one because he camera. wanted to see if because I wanted to see how it was. But now we're gonna try tea flavor, which 
I don't know what I'm gonna like. And that's then, vanilla is because I'm a vanilla guy, but I'm not. Yeah, so this is basically the most Japanese thing we have. Because <laughs> no, they make everything. So you want you want no, to save and... the Japanese for last? Yeah, because then, then we also have this. Oh, that's from Brazil, isn't it? No, Italy. Italy? Oh shit! It is from Italy. Oh, they could see it right there. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, so guys, the thing with Japan food is what he didn't understand is they're mostly gel. Cause like in America, oh all my that god, we love chocolate. Oops, yeah, it's a box. We love chocolate. Oh shit, it's in. Yeah, all right, there you go. But in Japan, this is what they like. It's called mochi. Oh my god, it's really soft. It's actually how it's supposed to be. This is literally what's supposed to be. See? Don't squeeze it too much. How is it? This is actually really good. Damn! Yeah, that's why I said it. That's why I warned you it's gel like because they eat, it's more gummy. It's stretched, damn. But it's good. I'll take another one. Want another one? Nah. Shit, bro. I'm gonna take these home with me. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put this in the freezer. Because once you put this in the freezer, it'll be like real ice cream. It'll be hot and shit. Yeah. But this is how you're supposed to eat it. Damn. Damn. It's literally like gummies. Damn, that shit is fire. Told you. Alright. And people who's... <laughs> oh, fuck you. And people who said you wanted to see other country food? Well, here's some Japanese. Yup. Next. I forgot how to cut this box. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> you smashed that It's one. leaking out. Well, I'm not eating that one. There you go. I guess that'll be my second one because I probably had like this one a lot more than you. Uh, tea. This one's hard. This one's actually solid. Alright. So this is the tea flavor. He likes it. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a little too late for that. Good or bad? Definitely tea. Okay, that's good to know. It's not bad, but it's not what I expected. Ugh. I actually like it. It's just, that's what I'm saying. Like, it actually tastes like tea. Yeah, it tastes like legit tea, which is probably what's throwing me off because I'm expecting ice cream. Like I said, this is literally what's... Well, what do Japanese people like? They love the tea, and they love these. I don't like it. I can tell. Oh, my God. You like the vanilla, though. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a vanilla person. I might so. say, I think the vanilla actually was the most that tasted like a um, ice, ice cream. This yeah. actually, that's what maki t tastes like, kind of, in a way. Ugh. I don't like it. Ah, uh, the tea does not settle with me. I like tea, but like, like ice cream, like, ah, uh, ice cream and tea don't go together. I'm not. I'm telling My you, opinion. My I'm opinion. I'm telling you this right now. Japan has a lot of tea-based items. Well, that's fine, but the ice cream, no. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the Italian stuff, because we both have Italian in us. Yep. So we should like this. If not, we're not real Italians. Ah, uh, you Really, nigga, you can't see me now. Oh, well, I, They can probably see me, but I can't see myself, because I'm short. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> sugar? Yeah, it's probably sugar. Nigga, this ain't sugar. <laughs> you know we did it! Ah! Oh! Now, see, because you're supposed to put it on top. Oh shit. See guys, it's supposed to go on top. It's that's yeah. that's pure powder sugar. That's that fucking cocaine from the mafia. Yeah, <laughs> watch the cops come out doing that because Yo, it's not mine, no you start beating the shit out of me. Basically. Huh. Right. I didn't actually think they gave it to you like that. I thought it was gonna be on it or just like this plain. I'll be shit. I guess that means we have to cut two pieces. Fuck, because we gotta try it plain and we gotta try it with shit on it. Yep, that's the powder sugar. Alright, we'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, over. That's what she said. All right, so here you go. We have one that's plain and one that has sugar, and then we have one that's plain and one that's sugar. And then we have that one over there. With all the sugar on it. Yeah, because it's leftovers. This can just go over here. All right, let's get into Mmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. All right. So the plain one first. Sure. Oh, 
Not bad. Sweet. Yeah. Actually, it even says it right here. Look, powder sugar enclosed. Yeah, I'm done. Says it. No, we didn't know. We don't read. <laughs> nope. Next. It actually even tells you what this the is. One with sugar. I mean cocaine. I mean sugar. This is traditional soft Italian sponge cake, which is the perfect dessert for any special occasion. So treat, snack. It's been in families for a long time. It's the most popular Christmas cakes in Italy. Huh. You can also warm it and eat it too. Like heat it up? You can heat it up, yeah. So you can eat it cold and hot. Dude, it's way better with the sugar on it. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> you don't understand. I have a lot better. That's what I'm saying. You don't, oh. underst you don't understand until you bite that shit. So this guy put some more powder on the other one. I knew it was Feels good to be Italian. Yeah. So it's a sweet, light, air, airy bread cake. What? That's all it is. But... I hope you guys enjoyed us rubbing some salt into the Sony people, and then e and then eating on their corpses. I mean, basically, oh, because we actually had real Japanese treats. That too. We actually had treats that weren't American food. So, look forward to more of those. Yeah, because I want to try more Japanese stuff. Same. And people seem to like that. Maybe we could get some. Uh, UK food you were talking about. Probably have to order for that though. Huh? I was gonna say it'd be we can, but we just have to order that. It's easier to get Japanese stuff into America than yeah, because we live with Japanese somewhat. Most of our shit's made from them. No, that's China. Close enough. Well, actually, technically, we buy video games, which is Japanese. So Nintendo, Sony. Oh yeah. We don't talk about them. They're 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 the forgotten child in Japan. No, that's Xbox. <laughs> but that's... Xbox isn't Japanese, are they? No, but still bigger than Sony in America and some other countries. Bye. Mm -hmm. Xbox is American. I know. Oh wait, and they're, they're wait. Actually, no. Sony's this serious now. Yeah, that's what Japan says in way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Fifty two super leaves you out. Bye bye. Mm, yeah. Oh shit.